painted this cross one coat of paint. So right now I just went over it with 120 grit because I'm getting ready to put the second coat on here. So the, the first coat's flat. Watch out here. And then uh... Yikes. But what I, I've sanded, it's so beautifully now. And uh... Ideally, this is going to be one of the most beautiful crosses because of the paint job. And um, yeah, I paint kind of fast. I know that. But that's just uh, the way I've always been. So, but like I say, it's going to make a difference. Is I paint, I sand them, then I paint the first coat on them. Then I go down to a, a finer grain, 120 is not like automotive smooth, but it's kind of nice, takes off the high points. And it, it'll make that gloss paint just look gorgeous. I'm using semi-gloss right now. So normally I do the stands first on my jobs, and then I'm going to do the cross last. When I learned to paint, I, I'm Greek, we really didn't call it painting. My dad said, baptize it! Don't paint it, baptize it, get it painted up underneath, around, or everywhere. Don't just paint it, paint the whole thing. So. What I learned from that was, I do the the, the non-show part first, the base. And same like if I'm painting a room or something, you know. You just, uh, everybody knows that the second coat completely changes the job. Now, this is my face side. I'm gonna have a lot of dripping because that's the way I paint. So I'm, I'm not being particular, but I'm painting up underneath both crossbars, and then um, just um, <laughs> like I said, I like using a lot of paint. So. And this is actually filling in a lot of cracks. And, um, depends what you're looking for. I'm looking for a fast product. A lot of people are looking for a perfect product, so it's kind of hard to reach it between the two of those. Yep, if you're seeing this, yeah, I'm using a four inch brush, biggest brush I can use, because I'm getting a lot of paint on here. That's what it's about with me. So, and, and yeah, I'm not worried if I get a little paint on my hands. This is what I'm gonna be doing today. This is the first one. I'm gonna paint all of these here in that pile today. And then if you look here in the garage, I got maybe six, seven tall ones. I got one of these on the bench. If you look way back in the corner, I have two eight-footers, they're called roadside crosses. These have all got the first coat of paint on them. And then uh, let's, let's pay attention here. Now this is the last coat on the front. So sure, I could do it laying down, but see, I don't want to touch it. I don't want to touch the cross part. So I'm going to try to pick it up by the stand when I'm done. And. Uh, Look, you see the cracks here? <laughs> I'm lazy. I just fill them in. But it, they come out beautiful. You know, I'm, I know I'm going to have a lot of drips. Wow, it's going to be a nice cross. Now, not to say I can't take it off of here and hit it real hard with a, um, a much finer sandpaper. There we go. Okay, so I'm getting lazy. I got a couple of uh, lazy paint job here. Is I I could sit and roll these and brush them. Uh, the only problem with this one is it takes a little longer to dry, but I don't really care. I'm just trying to see. 
how fast I can do 10 of them. You can see that, right? What do you think? What do you think? Is this lazy or not? Take my old wheelbarrow. Look, look over here. I just did these little men. Look. I did the same thing. I took them and dipped them. And, uh... That way, all the sides are painted. And, uh... So... <laughs> maybe I can figure out... I, I got stuff on my teeth. Maybe I could figure out a way to dip the whole cross. You know what? Keep watching. I think I've got a great idea. But anyway, the wheelbarrow there. Real simple. Look at how much is dripping here. My, my problem is i got to wait like 10 minutes in between. I could water it down. That's, that's not it. We're just trying something different. Like usual. Like usual, like I always do. Da, 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 da.